My name is Melvin Knoll, and I'm a part-time truck driver, and, and I own this miniature golf course and also the go-kart track out here. That certain morning, I happened to look over into the sky to the northeast, and I seen a very, very bright light up there, like a very bright star. And then I said, well, that's moving. And I just stood there and watched it as what I was doing, and it was just coming down out of the sky real slow, and no noise, just quiet, and I couldn't see no wings or nothing, just floating right through the midair up there. And I thought, well, if I don't tell nobody that I've seen something go over town tonight, nobody will believe me tomorrow. Noel drove his truck to the Highland, Illinois Police Department to report an unidentified flying object heading toward the neighboring town of Lebanon. Lebanon just received a call from Highland PD. Reference to a truck driver just stopped in and said there was a flying object in the area of Lebanon. It's a joke, right? No, this is not a joke. And flown out. Ed Barton was the first police officer to respond to the call. Be advised, there's a very bright white light east of town, and it keeps changing colors. It's heading westbound now. Matter of fact, if the shadow officer looks up, they can probably see it by now. 2550, I see something, but I don't know what the heck it is. At 4.23 a.m., police officer David Martin saw the UFO over a field on the outskirts of Shiloh. I happened to look over and saw this large floating object that was just moving very slowly. It was probably about a football field in length. It had three large bright lights lighting up the sky underneath it. I honestly don't know what it was that I saw other than I know it wasn't a plane or a helicopter or a blimp. Police reported the object over Lebanon, over Shiloh, over Milstad, over Dupo. Detective Mark Lopino says he saw it as it approached O'Fallon, Illinois. I was driving eastbound on Highway 50 when I see the object, the UFO, if you will. I first thought it was probably a bunch of helicopters flying in some type of formation. As I drew closer to it, I saw it start to cross over the roadway. It was unlike anything I have ever seen before. You could see the lights, and you could see something that they were attached to, and it was shaped like a, a triangle. I'm freaking out. I'm like, I, what, what the heck is this? So I continue, and it's going over these trees. By the time I get here toward the left turn lane, I duck into the left, left turn lane here, and I stop right about here. I wanted to listen to see if I could hear any type of engine noise. I could not hear anything. I tried to look again at the UFO, and it had already gone behind these trees. I put it in reverse to back up a couple seconds to see if I could reacquire it again. By the time I backed up to try to see it, it had moved at least a mile away, if not further. That quick, I was just astonished. I didn't know what to say. I was speechless. Six people, including five police officers, saw an object over southern Illinois that night. They all describe what they saw as a massive triangular object flying in total silence. High above the earth, grouped together with no explanation. These clips show what's being described as swarms of UFOs. Earlier this year in Seoul, in South Korea, a crowd gathers to stare up beyond the skyscrapers into the sky. A group of objects hover above the center of the city for a few seconds, then they disappear. In Mexico, three years earlier, a very similar sight. Clearer this time, the group of white objects are baffling the people below. Mira 
maravilla, ¿verdad? Zooming in still closer, we find that there are even smaller groupings. Over New York City last year, what looks at first like the vapor trails of aeroplanes. A closer inspection reveals there are dozens of apparent objects seemingly arranged in some sort of formation. Just before the footage comes to an end, one of the objects appears to come much closer. Lastly, this could at first be another UFO swarm. It's in fact a group of helicopters. But the aircraft enthusiast behind this clip from Russia soon realized that following this group of flying objects was something he couldn't explain. Twenty-eight, two 2018, a friend and I were at the end of Broadway Boulevard in Tucson, Arizona, and we witnessed this solid white light right uh, just after dusk, and uh, it's heading to the east and heading down, unlike a satellite. There are no running lights on this object. Uh, it's very bright for that time of uh, the day. And uh, also the ISS was nowhere near in the area. It disappeared right there behind Mount Bigelow uh, to our north, which is uh, in the Catalina mountain range. Now I'm going to scan the camera around to see if there's any other activity going on. What's interesting is a few hours before, a friend in Seattle said that someone, a new acquaintance, had said... Uh, they had had a, a major UFO experience like the day before and uh, they got a message to look to the north. So it was kind of funny. Went out and thought, uh, well, I'll look to the north. Those are the lights, tower lights on uh, Mount Bigelow, the uh, radio tower lights. And then I'm scanning over and pretty soon here you're going to see an early evening star for a contrast. Uh, with that uh, light. That's a good sized star there. Might even be a planet. Uh, and then for contrast, just a few uh, seconds later, this is an actual jet, what a jet would look like in contrast to the uh, light at the beginning of the video. So obvious running lights with that. Uh, no reason for any airplane to have its headlight on going across the sky. So very interesting uh, observation. I think it's a UFO. They call it. No, they're, they're called UFOs. It's a balloon, Rudy. It's called UFO. Not a fucking alien. You, you, you don't know what they are, so they're called UFOs. It's an alien. It's not alien. It's a balloon. No, it's called unidentified objects, so it's called UFO. This is what flies up now in hyperspeed. No, no. Look, look, you don't believe any of this stuff. There's two of them there. Look. Yeah, I'll put that up on YouTube there now, and they probably tell you exactly what it is. Balloons. Well, they could be balloons, but it could be UFOs as well, because you don't know what they are, so they're called UFOs. Look how they disappeared. They probably went to some tran trans warp or something like that.
Yeah, bu bildiğin iniyor. Oh.
it'll move fast. It'll move fast. It's, it's, it's in the circle. It's a, it, it's, we're in are the you a ball? It'll move you fast. Are you taping? Hey, Matt, you yeah. Yeah. Hey, I come out, dude. Oh, somebody should call. Like, you know, watch that or move. Yeah. No, who do we call? Call one of the TV stations. Somebody, somebody call one of the TV stations. I don't know. Call one of the TV stations. I don't know the number. <laughs> call, call like one of the TV stations. It's fine. If that's not a UFO, what is it? Do you have your phone, John? Yeah, but I don't want to call him. I want to call him. You want my phone? You want yeah, call him? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's call my on. phone. You call him. Oh, no, no, I meant the Ben and Matt. We yeah. have no idea what this is. So have you seen it closer? It's no, it's, it's been up there. Mm -hmm. We could get it to land. It's making very strange movements. <laughs> I, I, see, I can't figure out. I bet it's an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> if it's an alien, that's pretty good. I don't know if it'd be doing that color to yeah. for us. <laughs> <laughs> it thinks it's Christmas. Yeah, look, look, look at that. Look at this. It's moving. Yeah, it's probably coming no, from um, I like see Victor's. Oh, from Victor's? It's coming from Victor's, yeah. It's like they're double sizing.